Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Undertale with me, Notorious BLT. So, we have Sans here. It's an old-looking telescope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use the premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use a telescope? Sure. I forgot, there was a puzzle with telescope thing, wasn't there? That, what? Is he, like, standing in front of us? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Oh my god. <sighs> Sans? What is up with you, dude? <laughs> you are ridiculous. I wonder what we're supposed to do with the snowman piece. I mean, aside from just, like, bring it to a place. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. No, I am not. What is this? I... Okay. This is a little freaky looking. Maybe we should see what's in the cave first. It's this dude. What? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a, a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a nice cream. A free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Except you don't have any, I thought you said. I'm, I'm confused. Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. Yes, fine. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got an ice cream. The box contains one card. Take a card, take it. You got a punch card. Okay, that's fine. Wait, is it... You know... Well... Yeah, I'm going to put the punch card in there. How's that? Alright. I I feel like we should do this side first. I can't get over there. What is this? You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I... Oh, okay. You walk into Mall's Mall. Uh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Act, act. Oh, I can just pardon... Er, pardon. I can just spare both of them? Alright, well, that works for me, dude. This, this music is kind of freaking me out a little. What is that? Wait, I couldn't get to that before, could I? Oh, Lord in Heaven, what am I doing? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. You got the ballet shoes. Okay. I don't know what the ballet shoes are all about. Can we put them on? You cook ballet shoes. Alright. <laughs> what? You know, I probably should have looked at the stats, or, you know, asked, asked what the... what they do, you know? I think this music reminds me... Ring. Reminds me a little... <laughs> hang on a second. Uh, a little bit of uh, Hyperlight Drifter. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when you asked about clothes? Or when I asked about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very murdery. <laughs> but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. The, a bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a sus sus suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. 
This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. You're the best, dude. Aye. Boshua. C um. Clean? Yes, Boshua, to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, sugar. Boshua is friends with the little bird. Can I spare you? Yes. Wait, are there just places that I can't get? Is that what's going on? You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Hmm. Where am I? Oh, no. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Ah! Washua! Well, uh, yeah. Yes, clean me. Green means clean, indeed. Oh. 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 I can't. Crap. Okay, so I have to. I have to catch your. It hops around excitedly, indeed. So I have to catch your greens. Is that it? Ow. I. What in the world? Um. I'm not moving. Am I? No, I'm not. What is going on? Hey there! Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Okay. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh, Lord. Please. Help. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. If Pete's moving to the city, and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did... Onion San, please. Oh, and the aquarium's full anyway. So even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? My god. Please. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> that... That reminds me of Interaction Baldur's Gate. Oh, no. Sharon hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Toot! <laughs> um. Ah! Sharon pretends to be a pop idol. You smile. You ask to see Sharon smile, too. Sharon gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Who the heck is Aaron? Who is Aaron? Sharon pretends to be a pop idol. Okay, what if we hum? You hum a jazz ballad. Sharon follows your melody. Sire, sire, simmy, simmy. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Okay, that's great, but I'm out of here. The northern room hides a great treasure. Really? Why do I find this suspect? There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Okay. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. What? 
A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. First eight. Yeah. Ah. Okay, yes, that... Hmm. I, I played your song, though. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Hmm. Am I going to the... Oh, jeez. Am I going to a place of no return? It's a statue. The structure, uh, the structures at its feet seem dry. Hmm. Okay. Please take one. Take an umbrella. Yes. I took an umbrella. Okay. Now what if I go back? Put the umbrella on the statue. Yes. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh! Ah, wait! It's dot up... Oh, frick. Dot up... Right, dot, down, down, right, down, down, right. Okay, so I guess we're going to go try out this melody once more. I have to write things down because otherwise I know I'm going to forget because, you know, I'm, I'm terrible. Okay, so we want dot, up, right, Dot, down, down, right. Yeah! What is this? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs. Excuse me? It, what? Annoying dog. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. <laughs> what? Well, are you, how about I use the cinnamon bun? Eat the cinnamon bun. Or sit the cinnamon bun and your HP is maxed. Alright, and I'll take this. It's an artifact. effect. Will you take it? Yes. What do you mean? I'm, what? What? Hey. You deploy the dog. Oh, no. The dog absorbs the artifact. Oh, Jesus. No, dog! What have you done? The artifact is gone. Well, what does the sign say? Excuse me. The sign, though, it... it how, how does one read the sign? The artifact is gone. Oh, dog, why? This extraordinarily powerful artifact is now in the belly of a dog. Dog, can I find you, please? I don't know if I need another umbrella. I'm thinking probably not. What is this? It's all right. What? What? Uh. Oh crap! What was your thing? Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking away, uh, anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Ha ha. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let's go. No, I need to. All right, fine. I'll grab an umbrella. Jeez. Yo, I already looked. Undine's not over here. So I guess I'll see you later. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Bye, kid. I'll get an umbrella, sure. Take an umbrella. 
Yes. You take an umbrella. Off we go. I'm guessing there's a reason that he was like, oh, you can't hold one, huh? You coming with me? Yeah, you got us an umbrella. You're the best. Come with me, kid. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Are we going to get ambushed by that, that skelly thing again? I'm having this feeling that that's a very big yes. Man, Undine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> that's super bad. <laughs> you know, nobody wants to get beat up, dude. Like, nobody. I see a confrontation flat. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't beat up teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Good. Hey, well, wait a minute, except she tried to kill my ass. Um, hello? Oh, there we are. Is this... Is this Disney? What are you doing? What are you doing? That was it, huh? Um, beg your pardon? Return the umbrella. Put it back. You return the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undine, right? Climb on my shoulders. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. I'm sure you do. This poor kid. <laughs> I feel bad when he or she falls on their face. Hmm. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. And then I saved, because of determination. The serene sound of the distant music box. Or a distant music box. It fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were uh, turned into uh, were turned to dust. Why does that look like it's? Oh, it's a reflection. Okay. We run into Scully Lady. Oh crap! Please let me out. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hey, could you just not, though? Ow. Oh, my lord. Oh, crap. Nope. No pokey. Ah. Oh no. Wait. Oh. Stop it. Whoa, wh where? Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Ooh. Oh lord. No! Oh! No! Jeez! Undine! 
Please stop this. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Holy crap! <laughs> Jesus! No! <laughs> Undine. Why? Why are you a jerk? It cannot end now. Now, no tour. Stay determined. Why do I this feeling that, that is actually the voice of some creature? Now I put on ballet shoes. Does that help us? <laughs> I have no idea. Here's hoping I can actually get past underwear or undine, undies. So is it just like you get more frantic as time goes on? Is that it? Ah, crap. Hey! Stop it! You seem to be getting more and more frantic the closer I get to the end here. Ah! Ooh! No! No! Hi! Please. This has got to be the end. Um. I can't go any further. So if you could, like. Please not destroy me. Oh no. Uh Oh Busted the bridge. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. No tour, huh? That's a nice name. My name is was it Flowey? <laughs> oh, we're in the water. Was your name Flowey? What in the world is this? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. <laughs> Just garbage. This is a strange sound to be making when you're walking around in water. Normally water makes like a splooshing sound, not a scritcher scritcher sound. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. <laughs> Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Let me guess. The other one's going to be just, uh, just a pile of garbage? Yeah, just garbage. I love how the garbage fills us with determination. I have to inspect the garbage. Piles of garbage. You rest your hands on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> Does it fill me with determination? Just garbage. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. You got the astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover uh, cover the edges. Uh, that sounds bad. A trash heap. <gasps> hey, it's the dummy! Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. I don't want to beat it up. Why can't I move? <gasps> Was the dummy the thing that saved us? Oh my god. Wait, is he mad we didn't beat on him? <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? 
I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. <coughs> Excuse me. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. This seems implausible. Mad dummy blocks the way. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Feeble, feeble, feeble. What in the world are you doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, you have to make him hit himself. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Wait, can I... You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. <laughs> I'll defeat you and take your soul. Mad Dummy is bossing around the bullets. Talk to Dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Nobody's happy with this. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Oh! Smells like the clothing store. There smells, smells like a clothing store. You talk to the Dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Nobody's happy about it. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. <laughs> Talk to the Dummy. Again, not much for conversation. Then everything I want will be mine. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. <laughs> um, let's have some ice cream, shall we? Love yourself. I love you. Your HP is maxed out. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Oh, crap. I missed it. Oh, jeez. Hey, excuse you. Mad Dummy is getting caught all over the dialogue box. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Mad Dummy is getting caught all over the dialogue box. Again? Foolish, foolish, foolish. Are you done getting mashed by your own dudes? Mad Dummy's getting ca Okay, please. No. People, people, people. I mean, it seems like you're getting kind of mashed, but I don't know. Yeah, you keep saying feeble, but then you keep getting ruined by me, so... I, wait, is there something special I have to do? I have no idea. Hey, guys! Whoa! Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now I see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't. Okay, yeah, alright. Dummy! Bots! Magic missiles! What? He's, he's Okay, he's bossing around the people. Oops. There's her ghost. Physical attacks will fail. It's 
smells like a clothing store. <laughs> Man, am I gonna be able to do this? Just, <laughs> just let me kill this stupid jerk. Oh my lord! This dummy means business, man. Holy crap. Don't lose hope. No tour. Stay determined. I am determined. I'm determined to beat the snot out of this freaking ghost, man. Wait a minute. We took something from something. Okay, we got... There was something with that. That was just an empty hoobajoo. This was... What? Yeah. You got an astronaut food. Take a space food bar from the cooler? Yes. You got the astronaut food. Take it. Okay, it's empty. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. <laughs> yep, okay, here it comes. Now he's going to be all mad. Er, he's a dummy. Fool, you think that you can hurt I'm the ghost that lives inside the egg. Uh, it's okay, yeah, we've heard you. You okay. Here we go. Alright. I think I'm just gonna keep checking from here on out. Ow you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. Yeah, I will. Alright, so act, mad dummy check. Yeah, okay. Ow. Hopefully we can get through this relatively quickly. Smells like a clothing store. Uh, let's use, um, Astro Food. This dude's a real piece of garbage. Ah. Hmm, that was another miss. Dude, you take a lot of damage and I'm not okay with this. Whoa, whoa, hey! Oh my lord. Okay, you know what? We're going to try out this freaking dummy dude in the next episode, okay? But for now, that's it for this one. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you know what to do. That's going to be it for me. And of course, BLT. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.